Hello everyone and welcome to In the Greenhouse, the little relaxing behind the scenes series here with Siri as we poke around our beautiful plant nursery growing all sorts of different rare plants, crossbreeding and investigating so we can see what pops up and talking about some of the behind the scenes details of the series, of the channel, of the community, learning a little bit more about each other, our personal lives and preferences. And today, look at all the flowers I have to show off. Look at these guys, aren't they just stunningly beautiful? I am so happy that we've got so many of these gorgeous plants and they're starting to churn out quite a few seeds too, which makes me happy. We're gonna have to sell a few of these though because we don't have room for all of the amazing seeds that are showing up. But that's okay, because that makes more room for more plants. Ooh, what's that gonna turn into? Ooh, a little, little, little bug, little bug, got it, got it, got it. Well, that viola maple turned out something interesting, so we'll have to see uh, what that plant grows into. Let's see, ooh, and the fragrant grass is blossoming. Let's get some more fragrant grass growing because it is also very beautiful. The mellow weepers take a long time to make their seeds, I'm noticing. All right, we can sell that maple. Let's turn the prices up on these guys just a little bit. They're beautiful. And look at these, look at this little thing. Isn't it adorable? It's like a little ladybug seed. I have no idea what it's gonna turn into, but we're gonna put it out and see what happens. All right, let's get a couple of these guys. Oh, no, seed box is full. All right, there we go. Dems the break, guys. All the rest of you, head out. All right, come here, you. And then you hold on to your little, your little precious seedlings because this is our fabled lemon bush, and it gives us quite a few very wonderful, rich seeds. So let's see, we'll sell one of our little ladybugs. Wow, that ladybug seed's worth ten dollars. Well, we'll sell two of it. Scoot you over here. And you up here. There we go. Then sell this cactus too. There we go. So we're off to a running start with all of these beautiful plants to put out into our little nursery so we can sell them. And while we sit here and wait for all of them to find new homes, I will catch you guys up on some more of the awesome questions you have left for me. And after recording the last episode, it occurred to me I really want a more comprehensive list of the games that are on my list to play. So I went through and I looked at my Steam library, I looked at my notes, and I looked at my origin library, and I tried to figure out what I've got. And keep in mind this is primarily for PC gaming, because I still don't have the capture card devices for the consoles or for the 3DS. So until I get those, I can't record games for the consoles, which are, we've got a Wii U, we've got a Xbox 360, We've got uh, a lot of the older generations too. They're, they're kicking around. We just put them into storage though, so they don't take up space. See, look at those. Those maples sold for a lot. And we could have we could have probably put the price up a little bit more. They're very beautiful maples. Maybe we'll focus on maples for a while. It's kind of fun as we advance in the Plant Tycoon game to spend a little bit of time just growing some of our favorites, the ones that we really like and think are very pretty. So let's see. Yes, my list of games. So these are PC games that I plan on playing and recording so we can all enjoy uh, as time goes on. Now keep in mind Minecraft with our zoo crafting series, our zoo crafting side quest, our time shot series, and our Pixelmon Ranger uh, is always on the list. So they're always that one's always there. We're still doing Spore right now. Uh, Sims 4 has come out or is about to come out depending on when everything lines up and we're going to be doing a lot of Sims 4. I'm going to be diving into Sims 3 at some point as well to continue the Eureka legacy from our Ledesia series with the Eureka boys. I'm going to use uh, Newton and, and Valerie's three triplets, or they're not triplets, they're their older brother, Leon, and then the two younger twins, they're going to carry on the Eureka line in Sims 3 for us. I've got all the expansions, so we'll be examining all sorts of fun things in Sims 3. Then also the Sims 2 Build a City Challenge will be coming at some point. I have a lot of work to do on that behind the scenes though. Did we sell all of them? Nope, just the prickly cactus is left. And so, man, that can take the breath right out of you. When you put aside Minecraft and the Sims games, including SimCity, then we've got this list, and this little list includes visual novels, which is a suggestion from one of our amazing community members. I do think I would enjoy playing some of the visual novels. I'm going to be looking more into that. Um, any great suggestions for visual novels would be wonderful. I would have a lot of fun doing like a nice little relaxing visual novel series, um, which are really, they're kind of fun. They're fun little interactive point-and-click games. 
There are some really amazing, beautifully drawn, beautifully written ones out there. So if anyone has any suggestions, I am wide open to them. And I also want to play some more of the casual, relaxing, fun games like Feeding Frenzy and Virtual Villagers. And I'm thinking that like even some of the Plants vs. Zombies uh, old school games, not the Warfare, which is on our list, but the Plants vs. Zombie older games, uh, I might not do a Let's Play of, but I would love to do some fun streams where we just kind of do a little bit of Plants vs. Zombies now and then. Also, for some of your other indie games, I want to do a complete Let's Play of Fortune Summoners because we started it and I want to finish it. I want to do another Let's Play of Game Development Tycoon. I would love to do a proper Let's Play of Reyes because I think Reyes is a very, very beautiful, fun, little unique gem of a game. Uh, maybe a run-through of Rogue Legacy, a run-through of Secrets of Rakuten, uh, and then, depending on how things go, maybe do a little bit of Starbound, Terraria. I'm saving Unholy Heights for an October Halloween special. I would love to dive into Age of Mythology, Banished, especially when the mods start coming out for Banished, uh, Civ City Rome, Roller Coaster Tycoon, the Wildlife Park 2 game, uh, definitely Sims Medieval. I have Sims Medieval as well. Uh, I want to play a lot of the different Oregon Trails. <laughs> I think that would be so fun. So like you can you can sign on to participate in being a member in our little Oregon Trail party. And then we'll have to see who survives to the end. So I think doing a few run-throughs of Oregon Trail with maybe some factual information about the different trials that pioneers would run into would be kind of fun. I want to play an old game that's no longer... Uh, released anymore called Amazon Trail that I loved as a child. It was an exceptionally fun game. It focused kind of like Oregon Trail on getting from point A to point B, but you went through the Amazon and it had a really great photography challenge in it and a fishing challenge that I love. I remember that from my childhood. I also want to play Yukon Trail. Uh, these are all just kind of older exploration games that I really loved when I was younger. And I also want to do um, a game called Adventure Park that came out last year. It's kind of like a theme park simulator. It looks pretty decent, so I might look into it. And then Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, I would love to play. It would be hard to get my hands on, except that the lovely Ben happens to have two copies. So I should be able to snag a copy uh, somehow, and then I will hopefully be able to play Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, because that would be really fun. I want to do a run through of Scribble Knots, and I really would love to play a little bit of Magical Farm and some other farming games. And oh my gosh, that cactus is still not sold! Why? Why? What's wrong with you, cactus? Maybe we should lower the price on it a little bit and see if that helps. There we go. Whew. But now that I have completely exhausted myself out of breath going through that entire list of games, we can move on to your amazing questions! I just wanted to list off the one for anybody curious. I know I've done it before. But there we go, for anyone who's not caught those past episodes of Greenhouse where we've talked about the games I want to play, that's the new list. And then, let's see, a little more water here, a little more water there, and let's see how you guys are doing on the favorite lemongrass. And there's our little mellow weepers. Oh, and let's get the little ladybug plants planted. I want to see what that turns into. <gasps> Pink dragonfly, got it. Let's see, and then what can we swap out, hmm? Well, let's grow more of these little ball cactus, and we'll put that cactus away. And then, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, we've got lots of mellow weepers. <laughs> I didn't know we had that many mellow weepers. Um, let's grow one of these pitcher plants to sell. Let's see, we've got those. Do we have some of those lovely trees to decide? Let's put one of these over here for safekeeping. Grow one of you. There we go. Every now and then I just have to come in here, plant a bunch of things, and grow the ones that show up because otherwise we would we would just have an endless amount of plants. Alright, put these away. And let's sell this little batch. There we go. And then we'll have new baby or seedlings ready to go. Oh, Alright. So, questions, questions, questions from Mandy. What video editor do I use? I use Cyberlink PowerDirector Plus, and I really, really love it. I like Cyber, uh, Cyberlink PowerDirector. I've tried some other ones. This one, I did a lot of research on, and it was recommended as one of the most user-friendly uh, of the video editors to use, and it has really been wonderful for me. There was a learning curve, but between Googling every question that I had and careful research and just trial and error, I got over the learning curve, and I really, really like 
uh, what the, the program has done for me. So I highly recommend Cyberlink Power Director, whichever version you think fits your needs. Uh, it was about 70 or $80 and I got it on sale, but it's been really wonderful to work with and it processes my videos in an editing program really fast. Usually a 30 minute video can be edited down uh, once I hit the go button within like eight minutes. So it works really, really well. I like my, my Cyberlink Power Director. For those of you who are wondering what I record with, it's Bandicam. I highly recommend it. Most people use Fraps. I just didn't like Fraps as much and Bandicam does everything I needed to. Yay, look at our expensive flower. It's sold, I'm so happy. And then a wonderful question from Sarah. What made you do videos? And that's a great question for those of you guys who don't know. Um, I... <laughs> I actually didn't know what Let's Playing was two, two and a half years ago. I just thought that like, mm, like I had never run into it on YouTube ever. I had never seen someone do a Let's Play. I'd never seen someone play a game and record themselves playing the game. Uh, I'd never seen it done in a roleplay style. And I stumbled across Jessa of the Jessa Channel's channel on Tumblr and, and when I was looking for Sims stuff and I found her Sims 2 Let's Play. And so I started making videos of my Sims 2 neighborhood because I thought that was a great concise way to tell the stories without tedious work of having to take a hundred million screenshots and write and write and write for days just to tell like three hours worth of playtime. And so I really got into recording because I wanted to show off my Sims neighborhood. And then as time went on, I got into recording because I was very excited to have the opportunity to share what I know about the natural world and my passion for biology and the natural world with the people who came to my channel. And that's my goal now, is to try to make a difference in the world, spread some little education buried under some entertaining games, and it's really fun. It's really, really fun. So I love doing it. It was definitely a hobby I never expected to turn into a career, and it was definitely an exciting new thing in my life. So I'm very happy with that. And then let's see, Logan asks, ever consider streaming zoo crafting? I'm not really that into streaming, but lately I've been thinking about it a lot more, and I think it would be really nice to be able to get through some of the more tedious stuff uh, with you guys by just sitting back, relaxing, and streaming together. So I think that I will start trying to figure out a way to set up a Twitch channel and start doing some streaming. So when I just need to gather some resources and time shot, or if I need to, um, you know, just sort things in the zoo crafting world, we can get together and stream. My schedule is usually pretty packed, so that's my only worry, but I'm going to be looking into that uh, quite a bit more. So if you guys are into streaming, let me know. I know I've asked that before, but it just helps me figure out how to prioritize my time. And then the lovely Hannah asks, will you open up a P.O. box? And actually, I am going to open up a P.O. box. I'm pretty excited about that. So then if you guys want to send in fan art uh, or letters or anything like that, you'll have a safe P.O. box in order to do that too. And it will also give me a place to send you guys stuff from with a return address in case anything goes wrong so I can make sure it gets to you. Uh, and it will also give me the P.O. box that I can send out my mushrooms and the other items in the Etsy shop from. And letters to patrons and things like that will go from the P.O. box. So I will be setting up a P.O. box. I'm looking into it. They're very expensive here in town, so I'm going to be finding cheaper ones in a little town nearby. So we'll have to see. And then, let's see, MJ Chicken asks, uh, would you consider playing with your subscribers? And I totally would. Uh, I just am trying to figure out how. That's why I'm thinking so hard about like, oh, how would I set up a server? And thank you so much to all of you who answered my questions about servers because I have decided that I probably don't want to make it so that it's something you have to pay for. I want somebody, especially the people who can't afford to, uh, to just be able to come on and have fun. That's my goal. So I don't want it to be something where you have to jump through hoops to get on it and those hoops are money. Uh, we'll just figure out like a way to safely whitelist everything and I've had a lot of really fun ideas about what kind of server I would want to set up for everybody. So I'm still looking into that. It might have to be something that waits until I have more money, more time, and more experience because I want to make sure that it's a safe place for a community. But I would love to play with, with you guys. I just need to make sure that I can figure out just how we would want to do that. And then let's see. 
The Siri Fan Club asks, how is everything going with the series? And everything's going great. I'm getting ready to build some more in the Village of Light today. I am so happy with all of the different things that we have been working on in our zoo crafting series lately. Uh, I'm really excited for The Sims 4. I'm so happy. I'm so excited for it. Um, I'm so bummed that The Sims 2 isn't moving faster, but it's taking me a long time to re-download a bunch of CC and organize it so it doesn't crash like heck this time. And I'm, I'm just really happy. And really, honestly, the weirdest thing is that I am loving Spore to death right now. There's something exceptionally relaxing and calming about being able to terraform planets, and I'm finding myself playing Spore for hours and hours straight. So I'm really enjoying that, and I'm so happy you guys are too. So thank you very much. I love that. That's a fun question, asking how things are going with the series, because you guys never know what kind of answer you might get if you ask me about what's going on in the series right now, because you can learn a little bit about those behind the scenes details that way. Ah. All right, well, I'm going to figure out what the heck is going on with this cactus, because it still hasn't sold. And then we will be back shortly with a few more of your amazing questions. As always, please leave them in the comments below, and I will add them to my list so that we can answer them in a future Greenhouse episode. I hope you guys are all having an absolutely amazing day, and thank you so, so much for being here and being part of our community. Oh, so breathe deep, relax, enjoy the flowers, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!